Radiohead's <laughs> Colin Greenwood. Um, I think one of the more understated members, but I'm also oh, a bass a, player. So he's a that. fucking good bass player. Yeah. Some of the songs on Radiohead, I'm like, I don't know how the hell you keep time, especially with, uh, with Phil Selway's drumming, but it works. Where I end and you begin, because That's, at this yeah. point in Audio Face, but we'll change that this year. We haven't talked that much about Radiohead, hint, hint. But um, yes. one of my favorite bass lines I've ever like had to learn and deconstruct was Where I End and You Begin. Because it's just like... My favorite radio. That's my favorite yeah, radio. It's like, song. dude, yeah. what? <laughs> I, your favorite Radiohead song changes from years to years. Okay, I kind of like that. It's, but it's, yeah, more on that later. More on that later. Anyways, <laughs> there's Colin a list. Greenwood, <laughs> Colin Greenwood has decided to uh, throw his hat into the ring and kind of pin a Guardian uh, op-ed, uh, defending the fact that has been a point that's been made a lot recently with Brexit, especially mm-hmm. that the way that Brexit is turning out and working right now, where it's going to be harder for artists to uh, get visas to travel throughout the European Union. They're going to have to go through extra paperwork. It's going to be extra fees, etc. That a lot of new up-and-coming artists aren't going to have the similar chance at um, off of Britain's success, outside of England's success, as Radiohead did. And so you're basically uh, taking away these opportunities from new and -and up-and-coming artists in England, which, considering Brexit's a a very, like, nationalistic kind of bill, is sort of ironic. Yeah. And there's the amount of artists that come out of England is insane. So it's something that is near and dear to their hearts and it's smart. Um, Here's uh, one of his statements. He says, it is time for the UK government to admit it didn't go enough for the creative industries during the Brexit negotiations and look to renegotiate on provision for touring in Europe. My country's music is great because it scorns borders and boundaries. Yes, it is a great patriotic source, a force of confidence, joy, and shared passions. I am proud of my country and all the music it has exchanged with the world and I am sure that Pride is felt across all ages and cultures in the UK. It is the antithesis of a culturally pinched nationalism that is Brexit, and and its diminishment would deprive us all. Which is exactly exactly the point. It's the the ironic part is it's one of their biggest exports is music. Yeah, if you're saying pro England, England's a great country, England's the best. Then show off what, their musicians. Show off your media. Show off yeah. your art. Like yeah. uh, <laughs> Americans love them some. British Broadcasting Corporation. <laughs> and so, like, they love the shows that come from that. They love the yeah. content in the media. And they make a lot of money doing that because BBC World is a oh, private was, company, yeah. whereas BBC in England is a publicly run, semi-private, like, sort of scheme, right? Yeah. And so they make a shit ton of money internationally off of exporting their culture. Mm-hmm. And so if you make it harder for the next generation to do that, that's only going to do everything you supposedly hate. Yeah, exactly. About so and supposed the whole point, no, yeah, and the whole which point shows the whole thing being bullshit, but um, that's the most we'll skirt into politics because we've talked about Brexit a lot, even this year, and it's only February. <laughs>